What's up you guys? So this is going to be a tutorial on how to do this cool camera whip effect in After Effects. And I think this is kind of inspired by Matt Como because he kind of uses this transition in his New York City video, which I loved so much. Oh my god, I love that video. Okay, so let's get started with the tutorial. So I have my two clips right here, and you want the first clip to overlap the second clip. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go to Effects and Presets and search up Motion Tile. And then I'm just going to put that to my first clip. And then I'm going to change both the output height and width to 600, and then I'm going to press Mirror Edges. So I'm going to press S, and then I'm going to scale it up so you can see what this effect does. It kind of just mirrors everything and yeah, it's cool. So I'm just going to edit undo so it has the regular frame right now. And then I'm going to command C the motion tile and then I'm going to paste it on my second clip. So both clips have this motion tile effect. Now I'm going to go to my first clip and then press P so it shows the position and then I'm going to make a keyframe for when I want the transition to start and then I'm going to go to the end of the clip and then I'm going to drag my video all the way to the right corner so that the camera whips so the camera kind of whips diagonal to the right corner so if you watch it back you can see that it goes up to the right corner now let's go to our second clip and then I'm gonna press P again for the position and then I'm gonna go a little bit after to where I want the transition to end for this clip and then I'm going to press the keyframe button and then I'm going to go to the beginning of the clip and then I'm going to drag the clip to the left bottom corner. So it's kind of the opposite position of the other one because the other one was the right top corner and this is going to be the left bottom corner. And then you can also adjust the position over here if you want to do it that way. Okay, so let's watch it back and you can see that it kind of goes up and towards the other clip. Okay, now what's going to make this so much better is adding motion blur. So this is going to blur the clip so you don't really see that much of the clip. So I'm going to press the motion blur button for both of the clips. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, you got to definitely press the third motion bl button on the top right here. Now that activates motion blur. So let's watch it back and boom, it's blurred. Okay, wait. I gotta adjust the keyframe right here because it didn't go all the way to the end of the clip. Okay, that's good now, and yes. Boom. Look at that cool camera whip effect. Okay, so I'm gonna show you two more ways you can use this. So I still have motion tile on both of these clips, but for this one, I want it to pan to the right, kind of like a fake camera whip. I'm gonna press the keyframe button for position again, where I want the transition to start. Then I'm gonna go to the end of the clip, and then I'm going to change that number to negative 800 so it pans to the right. And then I'm going to adjust the keyframes to make it go faster there. That's better. So it does the pan to the right. And then I'm going to go to my second clip and then I'm going to make the keyframe a little bit after the clip again. Press the keyframe button and then go back to the beginning of the clip. And then I'm going to drag that button to the right so that it moves from the left, if you know what I mean. So we're always going to do the opposite direction from the first. So now it pans to all the way to the right. And it's pretty cool. So now we got to add some motion blurring again, of course. So let's, so let's press those three motion blur buttons and boom. Such a good blur going on right here. Okay, for the final part, I'm going to do a little rotation effect. So let's go to our first clip and then go to where our, we want the transition to start. Press the drop down buttons for transform and then go to position and rotation and press keyframe buttons for where we want the transition to start. Then go to the end of the clip and then I'm going to adjust the rotation to kind of go about 136. And then I'm also going to adjust the position to 526 and then negative 676. So I'm kind of just messing around with the numbers so it does a full rotation a bit. Um, but I want the position to go upwards. Now I'm going to move on to my next clip. And then I'm going to press the drop down again for transform. And then I'm going to make a keyframe for position and rotation a little bit after the clip starts. Go back to the beginning of the clip. Then I'm going to rotate it to the right. And go to 108. And then adjust the position to go to the left and then downwards. Okay, so now it kind of does like a full rotation. I'm sorry I'm not really explaining this rotation part pretty well, but I'm looking at the clip so that it goes up and then does a half rotation and then from the second clip, 
I'm making it so that it's coming from upwards and then doing a rotation down. So I'm sorry I can't really explain that well, but if you mess around with the clip and if you follow the exact like sort of areas that I just told you the numbers should be, then you'll be fine. Um, but yeah, just mess around with the numbers of the position and rotation and you'll be good. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in my next one. Peace. Oh my god, and I think I'm going to reach a thousand subscribers tonight, which I'm so, so, so stoked for. Like, thank you guys so much for subscribing. I love you guys all so much. You guys are so amazing. And I'm glad we can all make our film editing skills better together. So it's pretty awesome.